everyone. Welcome back to RTS and welcome back to Kit Crunch Time. Yes, it's that time of the month where we get together, pull something or a couple things from this box, I ran $3 or under, and build a kit from that. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. If you look below, hit the show more button, you'll see a playlist for Kit Crunch because we do this every month. And this series has been sponsored by my lovely subscribers, Tracy and Cynthia, for the entire year. So thank you very much. And so what I did in this series is that I pre-ordered items for the entire year and for each each month I based it around a theme and then I tried to stick within that three dollar mark as a kit starter and then I add items from my own stash or my own inventory as I like to call it and build a kit and play with it for the rest of the month so about three or four videos three or four layouts it's always fun so I'm going to reach in this box see what I get and uh, let's just get to playing and building a kit I had so much fun with this kit now I will tell you my box is getting empty because you know it is September it's getting very light but I only have one item to pull out for kit crunch and it is a six by six paper pad Oh my goodness, boy, do we have some talk about 6x6 paper pad coming up. So hit that notification bell because if you like 6x6 paper pads, you'll probably like this kit crunch and then also to some other things coming up on the channel uh, this fall. So definitely a lot of fun coming our way. Now, how much did this paper pad cost me? It is by my mind's eye. It's called Blast Off. And I was just watching someone do a haul video. And I saw some of this product a Tuesday morning. Now, when I bought the items for this kit crunch, I went with newer items, not items that was just on sale or things like that. It was items that I hadn't uh, seen before or had before because then you feel like you're getting something new. So this cost me $3.76. So a few pennies over, but uh, in the previous months, I've been a little bit under. So uh, at the end, I will tell you how much I paid for all of these kit starters because you truly can build a kit each month, play with it, and do it on a budget. And if you like something like that concept, please look into our playlist called SOS Series. There'll be another round of that coming up soon, as soon as the pre-order started coming in and so that's where you just uh, get uh, the new collections or the new products that are coming in and you just get a sampling of it so definitely check into that okay so with this blast off my mind's eye of course this was by Jen Allison and now she's doing some collections with Echo Park isn't that great she's a great designer so for this theme for the month of September I went with school which is usually when kids usually go back to school. Now, we were a homeschooling family for 14 years. I only had my little one, and we homeschooled for 14 years. And so in, we never we did school year-round, so we never really had a summer off. I think there was one entire summer of all those years I left her off the entire summer. But we schooled year-round because then we had more flexibility when it came to traveling. So that is what this is going to be built around, not only school... Uh, but space school, <laughs> yes, I didn't get into a lot of school supplies. I went with the space theme. So, yes, because we took many field trips that had to deal with space. So that's going to be fun next week to see what I come up with uh, for the monthly celebrations YouTube pop. Uh, okay, so let's get cracking. So when you are building a kit with a 6 by 6 paper pad, you can tell yourself this is the only paper you're going to have, and then you add some cardstock to it and you're done. I mean, simply can be done. And there are lots of sketches using six by six papers, um, but we'll be talking about more about that in the future. So what I wanted to show was three different ways or two different ways to handle this. Well, actually the first way is this is your paper. You put some cardstock in your kit and you play with this as your paper. And then, but if you are a 12 by 12 gal, like some of us, you want to add something to it. So another option would be and I will tell you, I had so much fun putting this kit together. I don't know what it is. I think it's because it's colors that I haven't, uh, I haven't played with for a while. And it's just, you know, I don't know. It's fun. It's just fun. And there's some holographic uh, p papers in that too. What's it say? It has holographic foil. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. So what you can do then is you can go buy or go buy. How about go pick out? Yes, you can go pick out something of a collection that you already own that will go with it. And that's what I did. I picked out this beautiful 
Cartabella Space Academy, which was gifted to me by my lovely friend Scylla. Thank you very much, friend. And so I'm going to pair those two together for my kit. I already have it, haven't played much with it. So you can see that I definitely have a theme of space and school. Okay, that's what I'm looking at because uh, when we were homeschooling, I turned anything into a school day. <laughs> yes, I did. So that is another option. Okay, so the third option would be is that you would find an inspiration piece in here that would incorporate all the colors. And I believe I use this one right here. And then what you can do with this, and let me just move uh, Mr. Stephen Duncan with Space Academy. I'll just do a quick little flip through with that. Why not? Because this is a lovely, lovely collection uh, if you have... Um, you know, younger children, or if you do Disney pages, or you want to scrapbook something from cartoons or Atari days, you know, back in the old days. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. Just very fun. And uh, let's see, where well, there are, I'm just going to do a quick flip through. So there are some uh, tonal tones on the back, but there's a lot of big graphic designs. Uh, wouldn't that be perfect for Space Mountain? Just love that. And you can do a lot of school. You can even use this for some Halloween layouts. If your young one dressed up as something to do with space or an astronaut or... This is just fun. The Jetsons. Do you remember that? The Jetsons. Just fun. Just a fun collection. A lot of story-based layouts can be done with this collection. Of course, this is Cartabella te textured cardstock, so I don't need to say anything more about that. Uh, I really see a lot of Disney with this, especially at Epcot, Spaceship Earth. Mm, yes, come to Mama. <laughs> Love this. This was on my wish list, and Scylla had sent it to me, so thank you. I really appreciate that. So then I took this, and I'll put this so it's not so much glare. I'm telling you, does that not look like the Jetsons? I remember that. I can still hear that music playing in my head when we got home from school. Isn't that fun? So I took this piece of paper here, and then I just gathered up single sheets from my a stash or my inventory, my collection of supplies, and you can build a kit that way. There are so many different ways. And so I, what I did was I went space theme. There is some constellation. That's by Basic Gray. So there we have My Mind's Eye, Cartabella, Basic Gray. All goes good together. And then let's add in some Lily B. There's some red. And then I added in some Teresa Collins and some Graf. And then let's add in some more Lily B. There's some orange. Lily B is no longer in business. That was from 2013. This is Lily B from 2013. There's some more orange. And again, I was just using this inspiration here to the left. And then, of course, you wouldn't think this, but I added in Maggie Home Sunny Days because this, to me, seemed space-like. I would have a hard time using this design. So... To me, it went perfect, but that is Sunny Days, Maggie Holmes. And here is some Cartabella, just some navy. Oh, beautiful textured. And then this is just a ledger piece of paper. It's a, like a neutral a neutral uh, background. Okay, again, keeping this 6x6 uh, six six pattern here on the left as an inspiration. I got in some yellow. Then, of course, playing with some stars. I had to do that. I got in some navy stars. So all of those are very pretty together. Again, using this as an inspiration. And this can be used for so many layouts. It's limitless. It really is. A lot of school layouts. So then, of course, I pulled out some cardstock that is just following those colors here to the left. Is that not perfect? Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then I added in some vellum silver dot because, you know, if you look in this paper pad, I took a cue from what was already here, and it was this holographic silver. So that's why I put that in there. And then I have some white glitter. And then we have some red corrugated. If that doesn't say school, I don't know what does. And then I found, oh, that's in the embellishments. So that is what I did. I used the 6x6, six six, pulled in a collection of Space Academy by Cartabella, and then I added all of these papers here just to give more options. And I... I don't really plan how many layouts I do with a kit. Now, for Kit Crunch, I show a video, um, probably three or four videos, but sometimes when you have a nice kit, you can keep it together for longer uh, than, you know, you can keep it together for months. I've had some kits that's in my closet that I've had together for a couple of years. So don't think it has to be on a time limit. None of this is going to go bad. So then what I do next is that I pull my titles. It's just... Um, it just seems to be my routine. So there are my papers, 
and I even got some specialty. I got some foil, I got some glitter, and I got corrugated. That is always fun. Sometimes I forget to play with uh, specialty papers. And I'll have a video listed below if you want to uh, see how I organize my specialty papers. So the next thing I do is I go to Alpha's, and I did something different. I will tell you, this kit kind of grew. <laughs> and I didn't mean for it to be this way, but you would think this is a theme of school slash space. But you have so many elements in your uh, stash and your collection of items that fits this. It's unbelievable how many items I had that fit this theme. Okay, so then I went and I definitely stuck with that silver for alphas. And then I stuck with that holograph. I mean, look at that. That's going to give some glare. But those are the three that I picked. And then along with that, and I'll probably cover those up in just a minute, is that I did something different. I pulled white for a change. Haven't done that in a long time. And these are so old. <laughs> Do you remember when they used to come like that? These are by American Crafts. Does it have a year on it? I don't know, but I'm telling you what. I think this was like in 2006 or something. This was a long time. Like, oh, fun. I just like that. I like the letters. I thought it just looked like a NASA type of letter. And then I did something different because of this multicolor here. I pulled some October multicolor stickers. I think this one was a Christmas collection, but I thought since I just had silver, had some white, added some color, and this is something that I struggle with, and this is something I no longer buy. At one time, I purged a ton of alphabets that was multicolor because I struggle using them, and I only kept a few. So I thought I haven't played with this for a while, and I think that's what I did for a couple of these items. Whatever I hadn't played with for a while, I just pulled something different. So that is interesting. Interesting. We'll see how that goes because there's a lot of color here. There's a lot of color there. Okay, love that holographic letters. And then what I did was I just started pulling embellishments that had to do with space and stars and the universe and the solar system, anything that I thought went with this theme. Okay, now I'm going to move these holographic just in case. I'll just stick them down here just in case. Okay, so using this as my inspiration, you see what's on here, solar system, space, stars, all these lovely colors, uh, kind of like primary colors. So I found some basic gray that I have had, and it's never been open, from 2015. At Tuesday morning, these were 99 cents, and this is an, one side. Oh, I thought it was two sides. No, it's just one side. But look at that, 99 cents, fun price for that. So there is more embellishments. And this has to do with galaxy. This was called Aurora. Isn't that fun? Galaxy. And then I found uh, a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. And this has to do, I just thought this would have to do with some more of these colors. Is that not perfect? This is from Imagine That. I think this was last year or the year before by Echo Park. But I liked it because it had some motifs on here that I could use for space, robots, astronaut, airplane, and school. Even though this is more geared towards boy, I can use these type of motifs on lots of things. Look at that Etch-A-Sketch. Is that not fun? Yes, you need to look up at the, the sticker sheet. Even if you don't get the collection, I like looking at the sticker sheets. This is fun. This is what awesome looks like. This is just, look at that. Oh, yeah, this is really good. This is really perfect. I am so glad that I found that. I mean, look at the colors. Just perfect. And so then I'm going to go over quickly the rest of these items because I will tell you, I did not plan. I did not plan for my kit to get this size, but <laughs> there, just some more of those colors. And again, using this paper here to my left as my inspiration. And what else did I have? Well, to go more with that space, there are the... The die cuts that went with that Aurora by that basic gray, that was easy to find. That was in my die cut binder. And then I found some October Afternoon a Rocket Age stickers. That's fun. And then I found some other October Afternoon. Because of the colors, they looked primary. And, of course, they got globe, and they got astronauts, and they got uh, rockets. That is fun. And then some more Daily Flash, October afternoon. Again, there's that rocket ship. Anything that had to do with that space, I was picking them out left and right. I had so much fun. And that's what I was saying. It was so easy to find these. I was surprised. So then, of course, I had the brands to go with that. Imagine that. This sticker sheet right there is the brand pack to go with it. 
very very fun especially super kid oh absolutely and then of course there's more of that silver more october afternoon because of those colors and then i found these mini placements i haven't played with them for a while i thought they looked kind of spacey and then these heidi swap stars if i ever find another set of them i'm definitely they're acrylic i would definitely buy another set of those in a heartbeat and then the other thing i found was I thought I could definitely do some Disney pages. So my little one had found more of those. And I think she bought me four or five packs of these. These are by Hallmark. She said they were around $3. You get an A and a B side. Very retro, very space-like. And then more stars and more stars. And I got stars aplenty. And so <clears throat> let me just show you what I mean by stars aplenty. So, of course, we're talking about space. And I can do school layouts. I can do Disney layouts. So I went star crazy and I found washi. Of course, here's two glitter because that just went with the space theme. But look how many washies I had that was star. I had a couple blue. This is a Chamel. I think this is, I'm not sure what collection that is. And then I had a gray and a red. So I just pulled them and then a whole container of wood veneer that is nothing but stars. And then I found some paper clips. Oh, man, these are over 10 years old, probably 13 years old. And so I thought, why not? It had to do with that silver theme. It kind of looked like the solar system. <laughs> yeah, and then a couple enamel dots just for good measure. You can never have a couple of them. And then a jar of sequins, doodlebug sequins, because I thought, you know, you never know what we're going to do as far as a solar system. And then I pulled two more things. And one thing is just because I wanted to show you how I have something organized in my space. Isn't this fun? I cannot believe how quick this was to pull together simply by using the colors from this one piece of paper and then also to following that star space theme. Very easy to do. I was, I was amazed. And then <clears throat> I wanted to show that how I have tags organized in my space for something quick. And I got this idea from Jen Gallagher many, many years ago. She always had a container of tags uh, that she used to show in her space. And so that's what I did. I don't know how many years ago. And this is chocked full. It's just a little cardboard container. And I have tags that's in rainbow order. And I haven't played with this for a while. So for this Kit Crunch, I'm going to sit this out on my desk and play with it. I don't know what if it was the string or what, but it just caught, maybe it was this blue. Maybe that's what stuck out at me. But I thought, wouldn't this be fun to play with this set of tags? Look at that. Isn't that fun? That's what I'm going to do. And then I pulled one tool. Now, you would think since we're talking about space and rockets and blast off and school, that I would definitely pull something to do with stars. And I didn't. What I did was, since I have so many other star-related elements, I mean, I have star wood veneer, I have star washi, I have star stickers, I have star acrylic, I have star puffy. I'm all starred out here. Yes, yes. So what I did was I pulled something that I was inspired to pull by Grace Tolman. I'll have her um, channel listed below. You all know who Grace is. But anyway, she recently was playing with her creative memory cutting system. And that's what I'm going to play with. This was a gift from my lovely friend, Pat. And so when I recently saw Grace playing with this, I thought, wouldn't this be perfect? I definitely have ovals. So there's a solar system type of uh, rings around different planets. Or I have circles. So I thought this would be the tool I play with. There's no sense pulling out punches or dies that have to do with stars. I'm already covered, so I pulled something different. So that's going to be my tool for this Kit Crunch. I will tell you, I'm so excited to play with this. And I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's a different color scheme than I'm usually um, played with. Or maybe it's because I am going to be working with a theme of school or space or solar system, the universe. So many stories you can tell. And then also to incorporate Disney pages. Well, that's a no-brainer right there. <laughs> yeah, so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play with all this, and then I'm going to play with a tool. I'm going to play more around with this because Pat had gifted this entire set to me. Oh, my goodness. So, uh, yes, that was a very happy mail day. So, thank you, Pat. I really appreciate that. And so, just going to have fun playing with all of this and using some items that I have had for years. Some items that have been kind of newer. I would say the sticker sheet's kind of newer. And then just playing with some things that are my favorite standby. And then old school. Man, this was old school. These uh, circle. 
Wouldn't it be nice if we could figure out how to incorporate this on a solar system type of page? I will get some of those in there. Yes, specialty papers. We got acrylic. We got chipboard. We got all kinds of, and we have Mickey ears already done. Isn't that fun? So that is all I got. That's all I have for today for this kit crunch. Again, we rounded out at $3.76, but I will tell you that people are finding this exact collection, even stickers and chipboard at Tuesday morning. So you probably can get this for $2.99. That's even cheaper than I got it. Just absolutely, a six by six pad is an absolutely great way to start a kit. And again, you could just use this as your paper. Add some cardstock. Or you can find a collection that goes with it. Well, that's Space Academy by Cartabella. I mean, do you get can you get any better than that? No, it's like it was made by the same manufacturer and the same designer. That is just too nice. And then of course you saw with those individual papers, you can pull out one piece of paper, any of those multicolored papers, if the stripes is your thing. And then, of course, the metallics. I used what was already in the paper pad of that holographic. That is an easy way to do it. See all that? See those rings? That is what made motivated me to pull those. Just love that. I love this paper pad. <laughs> yes. Look, now, couldn't you do a story? That, look, that looks like Atari back in the 70s. <laughs> yes. Just love this. And so you could just pick any of these multicolored papers and then pull um, papers to go along with that. Just super, super fun. Okay, so that is what I have, and I'm not sure what, how we will play with the 6x6 pad in this Kit Crunch version, but I can tell you we're going to give it a go. Absolutely. So that's all I have for today for this Kit Crunch for the month of September using a school theme. So come back next week. We're going to be with Nicole and uh, Grace and the rest of the gals in the monthly celebrations YouTube pop. And I'll definitely be doing something about school. That is my plan. Absolutely. Don't have any photos picked out. I don't have any photos picked out at all. But there are so many different colors. You can do so many different topics. You don't even have to be school. But it's definitely going to have a space feel. Yes. Let's hit the let's head out of the universe and have some fun this month how's that absolutely so that's all i have for today for kick crunch come back and uh yes you never know what we're gonna do bye